Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a legging review for you guys. Uh, I did a plus size legging review a couple years ago. I can link it below if you want to check it out. But the leggings that I loved and bought for years, Walmart has stopped selling. And I don't know where to find them at to buy them. So, <laughs> I had to go and hunt for new leggings, and I found the Dan Skin at Walmart. Uh, Dan Skin's been out for a while. I remember buying them back in like 2010, 2012, that time frame, and I liked them. And I actually have a pair of their capris that have still held up over the years. Um, but then I fell in love with those other leggings. I don't even remember what they're called, and I quit buying the Dan Skin. Well, now I'm back to the Dan Skin, and they've kind of changed them up a little bit. So when I was there the other day, I bought three pairs of leggings. I bought a pair of their gray leggings, and then I also bought a, two pairs of their black leggings. So, you know, just your basic leggings to go ni down nice and tight around the ankles on both of them. Uh, Danskin also offers a variety of different workout pants because these are technically in, like, their athleisure uh, section of the clothing department at Walmart. Uh, they have the leggings. They have the capris. They have them in, like, a... They're like a yoga pant, but without like the roll down. And I want to say there's one other style, but you guys kind of get the gist. Uh, they also go from a size extra small up to a size 3X, which I think that's pretty awesome in stores. I bought myself a size 2X, and I think they fit pretty good. Honestly, I'm a little curious to see what a 3X would be. That might be pushing it and being a little too big, but I feel like the 2X is almost a little, a little snug around the waist. But as I wear these leggings, that might change, that might loosen up. That could be because they're just brand new pants and they need to get broken more or less. So I paid $12.96 per on the leggings. And I, like I said, I really like them. I have like a dry works to help wick away moisture, uh, flex fabric, flat seams, which I think the seams are pretty basic to be honest. They call them a flat seam but I think they're pretty standard to any other seam I've had on any other pairs of pants. So I can't really say that something that is noteworthy is the seam work. So, uh, yeah, I just, I want to come on here and tell you guys about these pants because they're really nice and comfortable. I really like them. Something I think that's really neat is here in the back, they have like a pocket on the inside, which is kind of cool. And then here in the front, if I can find it again. And then here in the front, they also have like a drawstring loop. So if you need them to be tighter, you can definitely make that happen. But I like where that is located at inside of the pants because it's not going to be like a bulge there. You're like you're not, you know how some drawstrings are like you have to use it. This just folds flat. So if you don't want to use the drawstring, you don't have to, which I think is a really nice option. Uh, again, I like that there's a pocket on the back there. Um, and honestly, I thought the pair of Dan skins I was wearing yesterday, which are the same leggings as these, I thought they had a pocket in the front. These ones appear not to have a pocket in the front, and now I'm questioning if I wasn't wearing my pants backwards yesterday. It, it would not be shocking to me if that's the case. Um, but, <laughs> either way, I like them. They also have, if you guys really care to know, they have, like, that thing down the crotch. I guess some people don't like to wear underwear when they exercise or something. Um, you know, it's an option, I suppose. You have more breathable space. <laughs> But I just had to come on here and tell you guys about these leggings. I really like them. I think they're very soft. I think they're a really good dark black. Um, I don't know how they're going to do in the wash because I've yet to wash them. But assuming that the quality is still what they were back in like 2010, 2012, like I said, I've still got a couple pairs of the Capris from back then that have held up all these years. So if that's anything to judge it by, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with these going in the washing machine. So that's kind of it for today's video. I just want to come on here and tell you guys a little bit about these leggings. I think these are going to be like my new go-to leggings. And if you guys are looking for good leggings, I would definitely suggest going and check them out. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.